Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Today is also a special day. Gradually, we are getting to the end of the year. And I believe that there have been a lot of things that has happened throughout the whole of the year 2020. There were so many plans that couldn't actualize. There were so many things that or hope things that you hoped to achieve, but you may not have achieved it fully. Maybe you only got halfway through it. But I believe that even if you look through through the whole of the, the year, we have every cause to praise the Lord. Because the Lord has been faithful and we have life. And whenever you have life, there is always hope. So we want to glorify the Lord throughout the year, what He has done for us and what possibly you think it has not been done for you. I believe that all things work together for good to them that love God and to the court according to His purpose in the name of the Lord Jesus. My name is Magdodo, President of Voice of Dominion Outreach. If you have not subscribed, I will urge you to subscribe and let us always meet here every weekend to pray together and to inspire each other. Today's message is very snappy. We are not taking long here. And the message is that let it find you waiting. Let it find you waiting. Many a times we may be looking for something from the Lord. Many a times there may have been a lot of hard desires. Many a times there are so many things that you have been longing for and you have been waiting for, you have been praying about and it looks as if it is not coming. So at the verge of its coming, we miss it because we couldn't wait any longer. Maybe you needed something from the Lord or you needed a promotion from job. Maybe you needed uh, 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 another car. Maybe you needed a house. Maybe you needed something from the Lord. There's something you have been praying for and it looks as if it is taking so long. But I want to assure you that, beloved, let it find you waiting. When they say let it find you waiting, it means that still be hopeful. Because no matter what, it shall come to pass. The promises of God are here and amen. Whatever he has promised you, he will never fail you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. So far as he has promised you, it shall surely come to pass. So let it find you waiting. Maybe you thought that it could come in a year's time, but sometimes it could take two years or three years. But never lose hope. But let you be, continue to be hopeful in the Lord. And I believe that at the time that you, you least expect it, it will come your way. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let it find you waiting. Sometimes it looks as if it is taking long. I tell you, be in an expectant mood. The second thing. Always be in a position where you are expecting that that thing is going to happen anytime, any soon. It can happen now. What is it meaning? It means that let your faith continue to be strong in the Lord. Continue to be faithful in the Lord. Whatever that you are doing, keep on doing it. And I know that the time will come where your prayers will be answered. As a matter of fact, your prayer has been answered. It is only about a, 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 a matter of time that it will actualize for you to see that God has done it for you. It was never a mistake when you read Acts chapter 1, when Jesus was telling the disciples that I will leave you, but you know what? I will send the Holy Spirit unto you. So you ought to wait in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to come. Let us read Acts chapter 1, verse 4. The Bible says that I'm reading from the New International Version. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, that is Jesus, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. Verse 5. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Verse 6. So when they met together, they asked, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has said by His own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the world. And when you read the chapter 2, the Bible said that the Holy Spirit came on them. And when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. 
they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Utterly, people were amazed when the Holy Spirit came on them. They waited. Sometimes you may be waiting and it looks as if the Holy Spirit is not coming in this scenario. I believe that there are some people who left because they were still waiting and it looks as if the Holy Spirit was, is not coming to them. They left and they missed it. But them that waited, the Bible said that when the disciples waited, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they received power. It is in the same scenario I want to tell you that let it find you waiting. Even, even if you are going through your daily activities, even if you are doing whatever you are doing in your daily, whether you are working, whether, whatever that you are doing, there is something God has promised you or there is something that you are waiting for. Never neglect the promises of God. But still be hopeful, as I said earlier on. And two, still wait. Still be in a time where when it finds you, it will find you waiting in the name of Jesus. So we are praying today. Like I said, we are not taking long here. Sometimes we lose hope because we can't wait. Sometimes it looks as if the plan that we are having is different from what God is having. But let us be in an expected mood because the time will come. And your blessings are just at your door. While you are waiting, you need patience to wait. Let us always be patient as we wait for the promises of God. Let us be patient and let us pray. So we are praying that, oh God, may you fill us with the hope of glory. The Bible said that Christ in us, the hope of our glory. So we are praying that, oh God, may we continue to be hopeful as we wait for your promises. As we wait for that prayer request. As we wait for that car we are looking for. As we wait for, oh God, that unction to function in our ministry. As we wait for whatever that our heart desires. Let us always continue to be hopeful and we will never give up. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word that has come unto us this evening, this morning, this afternoon. We pray the Lord, may we, oh God, continue to be hopeful in the name of the Lord Jesus. May we never lose hope. May we never lose sight of your promises for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, Lord, may we continue to, oh God, stay in the faith. That, Lord, we will never leave the faith. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The second prayer topic we are praying. That may God help us to always be in an expectant mood. The Bible says that I know the plans I have for you. It is not the plan of evil, but to give you an expected end. There's an expected end for your life. God has an expectation for your life. So we are praying as we are waiting for that expectation, that expectant plan of God for our life. May we continue to be strong in the Lord. May his strength always abide with us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word that has come unto us this morning, and this afternoon, this evening. We pray that, oh God, may we continue to be in an expectant mood in the name of the Lord Jesus. That may we not lose sight of your promises. But Lord, we will always continue to wait in patience in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And brother, thank you for tuning in to Dominion Outreach TV. Today we're learning that the disciples waited for the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit came on them, people were amazed. I tell you, as you wait for the promises of as you wait for what God has said concerning your life, it shall come to pass. And when it comes to pass, I tell you, people will be amazed. People will be amazed what God is doing. Let me tell you, He's doing a new thing in your life. So never lose hope, never lose hope, never give up, but continue to stay in Him. Continue to stay tuned to God. And I tell you, your life will never be the same. Thank you so much. You can follow us on Facebook, Voice of Dominion. From Mondays to Fridays, there's always devotional messages there. You can do devotions with us. If you have also not subscribed, you can share it with your friends and let them subscribe. That every weekend, we can always come together and pray. As we are jeering towards the end of the year. I love you. 
And I know you love me too. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye.